Greetings everyone. This is the Awakened Queen, Conscious Goddess. This is part two of the crystals video that I'm doing, just showing uh, and telling everyone a little bit about uh, some crystals, <clears throat> which a lot of the information that I've had on the first video and on this video, you can find it anywhere on the internet or what, or what, or what have you, but I just wanted to do a video. Uh, and so the first video I did, I told you a little bit, I think, about some clear quartz, some amethyst, um, what else, kyanite, uh, I think, citrine, celestine, some of those. So today is, uh, like I said, part two. I'm going to just talk about five other crystals that I, I work with. Um, and as you can see, uh, behind me, I'm in one of my favorite spots in nature. Soaking up all the sun, all the light, and those good things. Uh, before, I, before I talk about the crystals, though, I want to mention and talk about three crystal books that I have in my possession. And uh, you can go and get them at your metaphysical store. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you these books and then talk about my stones, okay? So here we go. Okay, uh, these are three books that I have, again, talking about crystals. When I started working with crystals, um, I'll go through this one first. This is, uh, let me get this out of the way. This is the Crystal Bible, as you can see. Uh, and that sun is coming out now, so I'm going to try to put this. Uh, can y'all see that? Okay. Okay, the sun is blazing now. Uh, the Crystal Bible. So this book is pretty thick, um, like 300 and almost 400 some pages. Anyway, basically it goes through every type of crystal that there is. Uh, if they're rare or if they're easily attainable, it talks about the different colors of the, of the um, crystals, the appearance, the source, where they come from. So as you, like, like it says, it's the Crystal Bible by Judy Hall. So it says a definitive guide to crystals. So this is a very good resource to learn about crystals and what they're good for and all those kinds of things. It talks, it talk, teaches you how to clear them and cleanse them and all that good stuff, okay? Uh, then the next one is another one by Judy Hall. If I can get this here. Man, the sun. Uh, it's called the Illustrated... Uh, let me get here. It's called the Illustrated Guide to Crystals. Uh... It's kind of the same framework. Uh, it's a little different, though. It, it doesn't get. It's not as uh, uh, definitive as, as the other book, but it does talk about like crystal love. Uh, again, like I said, clearing crystals, or I'm sorry, cleansing crystals, uh, protecting crystals that help protect your space, uh, crystal protection. Um, just kind of the whole thing. Gives you pictures so you'll know what when you're going to a store, you know what you're looking at. So those are crystals, a guy's illustrated guide to crystals. Last one is the Pocket Book of Stones by Robert Simmons, and basically it's kind of like the Crystal Bible as well. It uh, talks about the different crystals, gives you the chakras that it's used for, the elements like water, fire, uh, air, those type of things, uh, the physical, emotional, and spiritual uh, aspects of how the crystals can help you. So. Very helpful book. Again, the Pocket, the Pocket Book of Stones, uh, Robert Simmons, and then any crystal books by Judy Hall. Okay, so we're gonna put those right over here. And next, we're gonna come to the crystals. And let me kind of, there's the books over there, but let me kind of get over here because this sun is beautiful. I love the sun. I love the sun. Okay. Uh, right now we're gonna st I'm gonna start with uh, the obsidian family I have uh, five sets of stones here okay Sun is going down back down okay we're gonna start with this this uh, this stone you see here okay this is called the black obsidian it's very smooth stone it's black all over okay the obsidian uh, where is it at yeah the obsidian actually is a good stone it um it brings clarity to your mind. Um, 
is used for like uh, if you've been traumatized, those type of things. Um, if you want to increase compassion and strength, it's pretty good. Uh, it also is a good stone to help with de detoxifying your body. Um, what else? It's a it's protective. It's, it actually repels against like negative negativity and those type of things. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I don't really know. It's mostly obsidian. It's mostly like a grounding stone, uh, like with the the base chakras and the uh, uh, sacral chakras. So that is the black obsidian. And of course, like I said, you can find more information about this in uh, any of your, the crystal uh, books uh, that I that I just mentioned. So we're going to put this one back over here on my little thing. And then we're going to get these two down here. These are what's called snowflake obsidians. Okay. Uh, and as you see, the reason why they're called snowflake is, excuse me, is because you see there you have like little white specks in them. You see those right there, those white specks. Uh, that's why they call snowflake obsidian. Uh, you can use these with your sacral chakra as well. Um, you know, with the with the snowflake, oops, sorry, with the snowflake obsidian, it helps you put you in your right frame of mind. Um, it helps you with being, you know, purifying again, balancing your body, your mind, and your spirit. Um, it actually helps you to, like, if you're thinking wrong thoughts, it helps you to kind of align your thoughts with the with the right way of thinking. Um, any type of um, like debilitating mental patterns that you may have, um, it, uh, it kind of helps with that. So both the obsidians, like I said, are really good grounding, um, good grounding stones. Okay, so snowflake obsidian. Okay. All right. Next, we are gonna go to. Let's see here. Let's go to the carnaline. Okay. This is called carnaline. I don't know if you can see it better on the black background. Okay. This is what's. This is carnaline. Okay. This is a orange carnaline. And you see, it's got some little like little white specks and things kind of speckled. There's different kinds of carnaline. Uh, like pink, I think orange, I think some other colors, but I have the orange carnaline, uh, and this is good uh, for actually, oh man, sorry, for overcoming any type of abuse, okay, so uh, that's why it's good to use with your, uh, your sacral chakra, okay, uh, let's see, what else, uh, over helps overcome negative, negativity again, negative thinking, um, it's, it's a very good, like, stabilizing stone. It has a lot of high energy in it. And if you have, like, anger issue, it, anger issues, it helps calm anger and those type of things. So, orange carnaline, again. There you go. We'll put that back. Uh, let's see. Next, we're going to take a look at the jasper here. Uh, right here, this is jasper, red jasper. And jasper uh, comes in all different kind of colors. There's like purple jasper, I think, uh, I think there's like yellow jasper. But it's actually a good um, helping stone. It, it actually reminds people to help each other, okay? So that's jasper. Uh, it helps you to unify all of your, every type of aspect of your life that you have going on, whether it be mentally, spiritually, you know, psychologically. Um, and it's actually used with all the, the chakras, uh, so winds blowing a little bit here. Um, it's actually used with all of the all of the chakras. Like I said, there's like purple jasper. Um, what else? I think there's like brown jasper too. So uh, very good, very good stone uh, for that. There's green jasper. I think green jasper uh, helps with like skin disorders and things. So you can find that uh, again in your uh, in your crystal books there. Okay, all right, so that is Jasper. Okay, the next and last but not least, this is uh, Tiger's Eye. Okay, where, there we go. All right, Tiger's Eye is uh, a, a very good stone, which I'm starting to, to use more of now. Um, it helps heal, well, it helps eliminate uh, and lift, like, 
if you're in a bad mood. It helps you lift you out of that mood. Um, it helps treats the eyes, uh, heals throat, um, helps you with reproductive organs, those type of things. Um, you can find this, this is kind of like a, if you get a close up here, kind of a brownish, yellowish color, but they also come in pink, I think blue and red. Um, it, it helps you recognize your talents, it gives you creative ideas. Uh, so this is a good stone, so tiger's eye. Uh, so those are all the stones that I wanted to show you today. Of course, I have others, but don't want to overwhelm anybody and only have 15 minutes on this video uh but those are some of the stones that i work with again get you some crystal dictionaries if you're not familiar with crystals read over some stuff research it and uh and then you know you pick your own pick your own stones your own crystals okay um i'm coming back around here you see that there we go all right, uh, again, it's Awakened Queen. You can find me on my blog, which is uh, Rising Consciousness on Tumblr.tumblr.com. So you find me on Tumblr or Twitter at Awakened Queen. And again, I always put out this disclaimer, is to get back to nature. Uh, nature can tell you a lot, give you a lot of insight and a lot of truth. Um on kind of what's going on today in, in, in the time, time we're living in. So until next time, uh, you guys take care. Peace, love, and light.